Let's now tackle number 23 on the AMC 10A, a tricky factor problem. So we're given a positive integer C has positive integer divisors A and B, with C equal to A, B. Then A and B are said to be complementary divisors. For example, if we have 12 is 2 times 6, 2 and 6 are complementary divisors. Suppose N is a positive integer. N has a complementary pair that differ by 20. So we can say it's X, or let's call N and M, because those are generally variables that have to be integers. Or, you know what, never mind. Let's just do A, because we already have an N here, I didn't realize, so I don't want to get confused there. So we have A times A plus 20 equals N. That's the complementary pair of divisors that differ by 20. And another pair differ by 23. So we can also say it's B times B plus 23. So now this is like a Diophantine equation, which, by the way, I covered this in the Mastering AMC 1012 series, some techniques for approaching them. So now what do we do with this Diophantine equation? Well, naturally, you might be like, okay, let's just expand, right? Why not? We have a squared plus 20a equals b squared plus 23b. Now, you might think, here's the key idea here. We want to complete the square for both of these. Why do we want to complete the square? Because then we'll get a difference of squares expression. And once we have difference of squares, we can very easily factor it using, you know, the identity a minus b times a plus b. And that will give us very limited options that we have to check. So let's complete the square. Okay, so we over here we get a plus 10 squared minus 100. And over here we get b plus 11.5 squared minus 11.5 squared. So here's where like, huh, we don't, want to, don't really want to deal with 11.5. So you want to have integers because now this thing is not, is not even going to be an integer. So the thing is, let's just multiply this whole thing by four, the whole, the whole thing. So what that will do is multiply by two inside the square, because we're squaring it, and multiply by four to this term and this term. So multiplying by four, we get 2a plus 20 squared minus 400. And by the way, this is just 4n, in case you were wondering. Is equal to, now we have 2b plus 23 squared, because remember, we multiply by two inside the square. And similarly, 4 times 11.5 squared is 23 squared. And that's a lot more workable. And 23 squared is just going to be 529. So now we just add 529 to both sides. We get 129. And then we subtract 2a plus 20 squared. We get this. And take a look. This is just difference of squares. Our best friend in terms of Diophantine equations. Because now we can just... Factor this, we get 129 equals 2b plus 23 plus 2a plus 20, and then 2b plus 23 minus 2a plus 20. So now, what 129 has prime factorization 3 and 43. So there's very few possibilities to check. And keep in mind that because A and B are positive, this thing is always more than this thing. So our possibilities, we only have two of them, just two to check, 129, 1, and 43, and 3. So let's try the second one first. If this is 43 and this is 3, take a look. They differ by 2a plus, if we subtract this quantity and this quantity, we get that 43 minus 3, or 40, equals 2 times 2a plus 20. Why? Because this thing is plus 2a plus 20, this thing is minus 2a plus 20. So 2 times 2a plus 20 is just their difference, 40. And therefore, from here we get 2, 20 equals 2a plus 20, or a equals 0. But look, if a is 0, now n is 0, and n is a positive number, so that can't be right. Therefore, we've eliminated the second case. Therefore, it has to be the first case. And to do the first case, we can do some similar logic here. We'll just say 128, the difference between these two things, is 2 times 2a plus 20. And from here, we get 64 is 2a plus 20. Or a is 64 minus 20 divided by 2, which is 22. And now we can just solve by just plugging it in. So we plug in 22 over here, 
Well, we already know this whole thing is 64, right? So this whole thing must be 65. And therefore, B is 21. So A is 22, B is 20. A is 22, B is 21. So now our answer is you can just plug in anything here. We can be like, okay, we can, you can use A or B value, or you can do both if you want to double check. But let's just use A value. We have 22 times 42. And this is just, well, 84 times 11, and that's 840 plus 84, so 924. Our sum of digits is 15. And if you plug in over here, you would get the exact same thing, I believe. And this should also give you 924. So yeah, you can double check your work there, just to be 100% sure you got it right. And yeah, that's it for this problem. I hope you enjoyed this video.